Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. Hey, we've been showing you bits and pieces of how to put the body together, both male, female, monsters, hands, legs, and whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can't jump uh, a little bit for some of you that have been working on that and show you how to actually start twisting uh, the body around. So let's just let's just look at our our stick figure here. We've got our stick figure person here, and again we've we've walked through that. Right, we've got our torso here. We've got our groin down here. We've got our leg. We've got our leg. We've got our arm, elbow. And here. So here's so here's all of our points. And again, here we're going to have hands, right? And again, the hands will go mid thigh. So as long as you remember, let me get a different color here. Uh, let's go here, purple. As long as you remember that you know you have connecting points. Uh, oh, let's take image mode. Let's make this in color. There we go. All right. So as long as you know that you've got entry points and connecting points here, and you keep those sort of in mind, you'll be able to get to almost anywhere you want. And all of these are, are the moving pieces, right? You can't really move. Look at If this part right here is the elbow and this part right here is the arm, I can't really move this. This is a bone, right? But what I can do is at this connector, I can move this. And at this connector, I can move this. So as long as you know where your connecting points are and your moving points, you're going to be able to get somebody... So they're looking pretty good. So we'll put a another layer on here, put a filter. Uh, there we go right here. All right. So let's see if we twist them here. If we start with somebody, and again, the, one of the twistiest guys I ever did was, was Big Bad Spidey. So if we do Spidey, right, we've got the head. And again, these are all going to be sort of crude here. And again, we've got the, the head here. He's going here. So Spider-Man's eye, going to have big eyes here. Gonna come up in here. So here's so here's the head, and we've already got it so that you're seeing way more of the top of the head up in here, right? So and again, it'd be something like this, right? Boom, boom. Okay, so there's Spidey's head. We're doing good. Open up the eyes a bit. All right, now we're gonna have the neck. The neck's got to be behind it, and it's got to be back behind here. So we're gonna get the neck back up in here, right? Because again, once you move something forward, you're gonna have something in, in behind right here. So we're going to have this back here, and then and then we're going to start taking, again, he's got a shoulder. So let's say we're going to put the shoulder here, and let's say we're going to put the shoulder here. So there's our, there's our two points right here. So now we just come up in here. If this is the neck, here's the collarbone. We come up in here, we start giving some of the neck muscles, but then we have to make sure that we get the shoulder up in here. Now that we've got the shoulder up in there, then we got to make sure that we start sliding the chest up this way and as we talked about before the bicep always sort of connects to the chest up in here then we'll get we'll get this but again you know these are just pieces here I'll show you once I've done it now that I've got that now I can again here's another connecting point so I can just I can just put the the forearm wherever I feel like putting it so I'm gonna come back down let's say we're gonna come back down this way and then there's another connecting point so let's say that we're gonna put the the hand going back up this way so now we'll We'll come here, we'll put this here, we'll put the finger here, he may be doing his little sort of spidey webbing thing here, so, and we'll clean it up here and make sure that he's nice and skinny because he's Spider-Man, right up in here. Okay, so now we've got this going back, Here's the again, here's the neck, here's the shoulder muscles, here's the shoulder right up in here, and then, and then we've got bicep, tricep, and now we've got the arm in here. So now we got to get the other one. So what are we going to do with the other hand? Well, why don't we get dynamic with it? And why don't we put, why don't we put this hand nice and big in front of them? We'll even knuckle the two fingers here, and then we'll knuckle this one here. So it looks like he's going to be shooting webs here. So now we've got the hand up in here. And again, spider his webs would be going up in here, and I'd be doing my cool sort of toddy, toddy webs, if you will. Uh, that's for another day. Uh, so we'll clean this up just a bit. Okay. Now, the we just have to then come here and start connecting some of the pieces here. So let's get, let's let's do something dramatic here. Let's put a big foot here, right? Because again, I used, to, I used to have to sort of make big giant things here. So we'll make a big giant foot here because we want it to sort of be in front of him. But if the foot's here, now I've got to now I've got to make the rest of him up to his knee. So somehow, this has to get up here, right? So I have to get him up 
in this area up in here. So now the knee is going to overlap that leg that was back there. And then there has to be his thigh someplace, but we'll get to that in a minute. But we've got the hand here, and now we're going to have the arm's going to be back here, the shoulder's going to be up in here, and then we're going to have the groin's going to be up in here, here's going to be his leg, and then we just maybe, let's say we take the other leg and we put it way back in the distance. So here's going to be the kneecap, we're going to put up in here, and then we're going to just have the foot sort of shooting back, back up in here. So it looks like he's sort of coming out at you. Now, if we look at this from a distance, and maybe I'd put a little bit of a shadow underneath underneath the head here. There's going to be a shadow up in here. You might want to do a little bit of a shadow on the forearm here just to sort of do some separation. And again, it's sketchy. And what would normally would happen is that I would come in here and I would put another piece of paper on it let me show you what I would normally do. If this is a, a, a real quick rough, then what I would do is I'd put a piece of white paper on it, tracing paper, I'd pull it back, and then from here, now I can do my nice, clean, real pretty line, so instead of it being sloppy, I could come up in here, and I could start doing my nice drawings, and it would be a lot cleaner. That's, that's not what this is for. To me, I just want to get you guys here, and as you can see, if we get you to here, then once you come in there and you start adding your lines that are anybody's costume, whether it's Superman, Batman, uh, Spider-Man, whatever else, once you get the costume lines in there, and this isn't even without color, it'll just start to look like whoever it is, right? He's got a, a, a spider on his chest, which is why he's Spider-Man. He's going to have the webbing up in here on here. His boot is going to have his webbing is going to go on it like this, so it's going to turn on him, right? And you can get there... You can get there pretty quickly. So that's just Spider-Man coming at you. Uh, maybe we'll do a Batman or Superman in another one. But as you can see from a distance, by just sort of twisting. And and don't worry about it. Don't worry whether this leg was here or here, right? I could have easily have made that here. I could have had the hand closer in front of his face. I could have had this arm going straight back here and then the arm back up in here, right? You're, what you want to do, I could have had the knee going here instead of going straight back. It could have been up in here and the foot could have been here. So it would have been more like he was bent. So just start playing with shapes and see how you can start putting people into some of the dynamic poses. And pretty soon you'll find some happy accidents. So anyway, that's your first sort of lesson with the body. Just start twisting and turning it and we'll get a little more sophisticated as we keep going along.